welcome to part two of this set of four videos for this small square coaster. So in the first video I showed you how to set in the pairs and get started, how to uh, divide up your pattern with a line to show you where to stop working for each quarter to make it easier to work this piece. And we worked the whole of the first first quarter, which was this pattern here. So now I'm going to move on and the second quarter is worked using this design here. Obviously, this is back to front. So we're on this side, not on this side, but this is upside down because we're looking at the front of the work. So you can see in this variation, I've got a haloed spider, a rose ground, a simple cloth stitch spider and a cloth stitch fan. So for my variation that I'm going to do to show you today is I'm going to work my fan in half stitch. I'm going to work these two little spiders in half stitch. I'm going to do a, a double rose ground, which I'll explain when I get there. And then I'm going to work this haloed spider. So let's get started. So this is where we, we left off on the previous video. We'd turned the pattern and we're ready to start coming down the next side. So we're going to start at the top and we're going to work this fan. Then we'll do the spider. Then we'll work the second fan, which means I can do the first half of the rose ground before working the haloed spider. Then continuing with the rose ground before the, the third fan, the second little spider and the fourth fan, which make up the whole of this quarter. So first of all, we're going to look at the fan. So we're going to move these pairs out of the way. And I'm going to make sure that there's a twist on each of these pairs coming out of the fan, as I said earlier. If you're coming from cloth stitch into cloth stitch or into any other stitch for that matter, you need to have a twist on the pairs to, to bridge the gap. Then I'm going to put a twist on our extra fan passive because we're going into a half stitch fan. And then here's our worker and our twisted edge pair. And these are going to stay the same. So I'm going to still do a cloth stitch and twist edge half stitch fan and you'll be able to see the difference that you can get by just swapping out a stitch to give you a different effect in the piece. So to start cloth stitch and twist through the edge pair then half stitch through our extra passive and then bring the first pair in from the previous side in half stitch extra twist on the worker and pin up under the worker. So the same as working a cloth stitch fan, we're going to take a pair in each time we get to the right hand side and we're going to work our edge stitch on the left. So half stitch back. This time we've already got a twist on the pair so we don't need to put another one before we work our edge pair. So cloth stitch and twist, extra twist on the worker as usual and pin up and then back cloth stitch and twist then half stitch do one two and a new one three twist the worker and pin half stitch out cloth stitch and twist through the last pair extra twist on the worker and pin so I'm going to carry on in this way, taking a new pair in at each time on the right. Until we're at the widest point of the fan. And again, as with the trails, when you're working in half stitch, 
you don't need to tension quite so uh, fastidiously as you do when you're working cloth stitch. So just a gentle stroking of the of the bobbins is really all that's required. So that's the last one that we've taken in. That's the widest point of our fan. We'll stitch and twist. Extra. Extra twist on the worker. Cross stitch and twist back. Half stitch through. So now the fan is getting narrower. So I'm going to leave that pair out. Extra twist on the worker. And pin. So that was cross stitch and twist through the last pair. Cross stitch and twist back. And again, we're going to leave one out. Extra twist on the worker. Cross stitch and twist. Extra twist. Leaving that one out. And then finally back through one, two, cross stitch and twist through the worker, through the edge pair rather, extra twist on the worker and there's our pin in the bottom of that fan. So again I'm going to leave that open so that we're ready for that worker to complete the next fan along. So now coming into our spider we've got our worker our edge pair and our spare pair in the fan and then we've got one two three four pairs from the left to come into our spider and then we're looking across that red line and we're looking for the next four pairs that are going to be coming round the corner so you can see these got a little bit jumbled so I'm just making sure that the pairs are correct to the pinholes so you can see there I've got a pair at each pinhole and I'm ready to work my two rows exactly the same as we did in the first spider my two rows of ground down here and down here so I'm going to work to the right first it doesn't matter which way you go first so with the top pinhole I'm taking a pair from each side half stitch pin, half stitch and I'm going to work down that line of ground till I've brought in those four pairs to work my spider. So that's there Then I'm going to come back to my next pin to come down the left hand side and I'm going to look up and find the pair coming diagonally to it from the left and from the right making sure that's got a twist on it and I'm going to do the remaining three pin holes down that left hand line So now I've got my two pairs at the end, which are my ground pairs. I've got my two left hand legs, my two right hand legs, and then I've got the two pairs here. So I'm going to focus on the four legs, two from each side. They've currently got one twist on. So I'm going to add one further twist to each leg. As I said before, if you've got two legs coming from one side, you want two twists on each of those legs. Now for this one, I'm going to work the spider in half stitch. So I'm going to take, again, the two left hand pairs and work them through the two right hand pairs. But instead of working them in cloth stitch, I'm going to work them in half stitch. So I'm going to take pair number two and I'm going to half stitch through two pairs to the right. Then I'm going to come back and get pair number one and I'm going to half stitch that through two pairs to the right. Now, as, as you can see, 
half stitch spiders are just that little bit more tricky to to keep an eye on because there's just a lot of threads going in a lot of different directions so just take it steady focus on your stitches and if it looks wrong at the end take it back and do it again so I've now got two pairs on the left and two pairs on the right where they've crossed over and I'm going to put the pin to make the centre of the spider before repeating the same again so pair number two half stitch that through two pairs to the right then come back and get pair number one and half stitch that through two pairs to the right that's our half stitch spider i'm going to put my extra twist on each leg so that i've got two twists coming out from each side and then i'm going to work the ground to enclose the outside of the spider so this time i'm going to come from the left hand side and I'm going to bring the pair coming in from the left with my first leg of the spider, half stitch, pin, half stitch, through the next one, half stitch, pin, half stitch. So I've worked through the two spider legs and that's as far as I can go because my next pin hole here is on this line coming down and I need to work the two above it first. So coming to the top one of those three pinholes, taking the left hand pair from my spider leg and the right hand pair from the, the right pinhole. And I'm going to do half stitch. Pin half stitch through three pairs, three pin holes to the left. So half stitch, pin, half stitch for number two and for number three. And that's my spider complete. So I'm going to leave these pairs on the right hand side for now. And then the four pairs from the left, one, two, three, four, I will use those to work my next fan. And then I can show you how to do the rose ground. So that's my next fan completed. So I'm going to shuffle the, the, the three pairs on the left hand side. So my fan worker, my fan edge pair and my extra fan passive. They'll go out of the way. We don't need those. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs from the left. To come into the rose ground and one two pairs from the right make sure i get the correct two pairs that's it two pairs from the right because we've got a single line of rose ground so that's two pairs from the right coming in but then we've got four coming from the left which is your eight pairs from the left so i'm going to work a double rows the double rows is going to use a foundation stitch of cloth stitch and twist and then the pin holes are worked in half stitch pin half stitch and it's the foundation rows that are the key to the foundation stitches that are the key to rose ground so looking at the top rows and i've got a little circle in my pattern to show show the rows sometimes that will be a little diamond so I'm going to have two pairs from the right hand side and two pairs from the left hand side coming into this rose. And we need to work a foundation stitch on each side. So we've got again, we've got our twist on already as it's coming out from the previous previous section. And I'm going to do a cloth stitch and twist with those two pairs. So cross, twist, cross, twist. That's my foundation stitch on the left. And then with the two pairs from the right, I'm going to do the same thing. So cross, twist, cross, twist. So now we're going to work the set of four pin holes in the middle. So we're going to do the top, the two sides and then the bottom. So with the top pin hole, I'm going to take the two central pairs, one from each side. And I'm going to do half stitch. Pin half stitch 
and then I'm going to take the left hand pair to the left and pick up the second pair on the left hand side and I'm going to do half stitch pin half stitch then I'm going to leave both those pairs there and I'm going to pick up the two pairs on the right hand side and I'm going to do half stitch pin half stitch in the right hand pinhole and then of the four pairs we have I'm going to take the two middle pairs and I'm going to work a half stitch pin half stitch in the middle so our rose is almost there we put foundation rows on uh, foundation stitches on before we work the rows and we need to put those same foundation stitches on after we've worked the rows so cross twist cross twist so cloth stitch and twitch twist with the right hand two pairs and cloth stitch and twist with the left hand two pairs so we now have our rows complete so we can discard the right hand pairs and the two left hand pairs are going to come along and meet with the next two pairs from the left to make the next rows as we've come out of a rose with these two right hand pairs, we've already got the foundation stitch because we'd worked it after the previous one. You don't need to do a second foundation stitch. But our pairs from the left, which are coming out of our spider and the ground around the spider, they do. So we're going to do cross twist, cross twist. So we now have a foundation stitch on both sides. So again, I'm going to take the two pairs in the middle and work half stitch, pin half stitch. Then I'm going to discard the right hand pair and bring the next pair in from the left. And with the two left hand pairs, I'm going to work half stitch, pin half stitch. Then leaving both those pairs there, I'm going to come back to the right. With the two pairs on the right hand side I'm going to work half stitch pin half stitch and then with the two central pairs of the four I'm going to do the bottom pin hole in half stitch pin half stitch and then finally with the two right hand pairs I'm going to work my foundation stitch cloth stitch and twist and with my left hand pairs, I'm going to work foundation stitch, cloth stitch and twist. So we're done with those on the right. The ones that were on the left now become the right hand pair for the next pairs for the next rows. And we bring two more in from the left. So again, we already have our foundation stitch on the right hand pairs. We can put cross twist, cross twist to create the foundation stitch on how on how left. And again, the middle two pairs of the four, half stitch, pin, half stitch. Discard the right hand of the two and bring the left hand pair in. Work half stitch, pin, half stitch with those two. Discard the two left hand pairs and move over to the right and do half stitch pin half stitch with those two and then bringing all four pairs back into play we're going to do half stitch pin half stitch with the two pairs in the middle once again foundation stitch on the right cross stitch and twist foundation stitch with the left cross stitch and twist and these ones now become our right hand pair for the next rows. So bring the last two pairs in for the last rows. We have our foundation stitch here. Work cloth stitch and twist with these two. And again, with the middle of the four, the middle two of those four, half stitch, pin half stitch. With the two left hand pairs, half stitch pin half stitch with the two right hand pairs half stitch pin half stitch and the two center pairs so of the four again the two middle pairs half stitch 
pin half stitch. Once again, our foundation stitch with the two pairs on the right and our foundation stitch with the two pairs on the left. So that completes the first part of our rose ground. So as you can see from the pattern, the rose ground comes along here and it comes down to the right here. But we can't do that pair yet because we need to do this haloed spider. So I'm going to take the four pairs from the rows on the left hand side and shuffle those out of the way. And then I'm going to bring across two, four, six from the left. And then we've got our remaining six pairs on the right hand side, which will be the right hand side of our haloed spider. Again, checking that they are all in order that each pair has got a single twist coming out of the previous quarter and we're ready to go. So again, we're going to work the line of ground down here and the line of ground down here, starting with the top one and looking up to the left for the next available pair and to the right. So we'll work. I'm going to work down to the left this time half stitch pin half stitch working through all the pairs coming out of that rose ground and remember as they come out of the rose ground they're going to have their foundation stitch on them so you need to keep that foundation stitch on them and ensuring each pair has a twist as it goes into the ground through the next one And number six. That's as far as we can go there because the next pinhole along is the top of that rose ground. So coming back to the top, I'm going to pick up this pair again and I'm going to work down to the right. And that's the last one on the right. So again, these two ground pairs, we'll just tuck those out of the way. And looking at our spider, this spider has got four legs on each side. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And as I said, this time I'm going to work a haloed spider. It's a little bit more complicated and if you prefer you can just do an ordinary cloth stitch spider or an ordinary half stitch spider but you just have to remember that we've got four legs on each side and the four legs from the left have to work through the four legs to the right before you place your middle pin and then you take the four legs from the left through the four legs to the right after the pin so we've got four legs so we want four twists where we've only got one so three more twists on each leg and then we're going to start the haloed spider so again I'm coming in from the left hand side we've got four pairs to work across so I'm going to count one two three four so the fourth pair in is going to work through the remaining pairs with a haloed spider the outside pair is worked in cloth stitch and twist so for this this pair going across I'm going to work four pairs to the right in cloth stitch and twist
and I'm going to tension that up because cloth stitch and twist just needs a little bit more care taken with it. So that's the first pair across. Then I'm going to come back one, two, three and take the next pair across. Now remembering the outside pair needs to be cloth stitch and twist. So I'm going to go cloth stitch and twist through the first pair. But then I'm just going to work in cloth stitch through the remaining three. Coming back to the left hand side, we've got two pairs left. So one, two. Cloth stitch and twist through the first pair. Then cloth stitch through the remaining three. Then coming back to pick up the final pair from the left, cloth stitch and twist through the first pair, then ordinary cloth stitch through the remaining three. And that's half our spider worked. We can place the pin in the middle and tension up. As you can see, we've got more legs. There's just a little bit more tensioning required. So I've gone worked out from the middle to the outside and now I'm just working back from the outside in. So now it's time to do the second half of the spider. Again, the four pairs from the left need to go through the four pairs from the right. So one, two, three, the fourth pair. This time we're going to go cloth stitch through three pairs because they're the middle three legs. Then I'm going to put a twist on that pair and I'm going to work cloth stitch and twist through the outside pair. Come back to the left. One, two, take the third pair. And we're going to go cloth stitch through the first three. Put a twist on it and cloth stitch and twist through the last pair. Come back to the left. One, two cloth stitch through the first three, put a twist on it and cloth stitch and twist through the last pair. And then for the final leg, we're going to make sure we've put twists on the remaining three pairs that are untwisted. And we're going to work in cloth stitch and twist across all four legs. Tension up. And you can see we've got our nice little body in the middle there and then we've got a little gap formed by the cloth stitch and twist to give the halo pair that sits around the edge. I think sometimes it's referred to as a ringed spider. So now the final stage is we need to make sure we have four twists on each leg. So that's three extra twists on every leg because they've already got one twist on. And then we're going to finish off the ground around the spider. So coming to the left, I'm going to pick up the pair coming down the line of ground that will meet with the first leg of the spider. Half stitch pin, half stitch. stitch so now we've come through all the spider legs on the left hand side that's as far as we can go because the next pinhole down is along this line here so I'm going to go along to the right hand side and find the pair coming from there and I'm going to work that to the left to complete the spider the ground round of the spider Thank you. 
and the last one on the bottom. There. So these pairs from the right hand side can move out of the way. And we've got two, four, six pairs here. And then two pairs from the left. And we're going to do the bottom part of our rose ground. Exactly the same principle, we're just working in the other direction. So the pairs on the left have already got their foundation stitch because they've come out of that last rose that we did there. So moving to the right, we'll take the next two pairs and we'll work cloth stitch and twist to put the foundation stitch on there. Then working with the four pairs, we're going to take the middle two, half stitch, pin half stitch, The two on the left, half stitch, pin half stitch. The two on the right, half stitch, pin half stitch. Finishing with the two in the middle, half stitch, pin half stitch. Then finally, cloth stitch and twist with the left hand two pairs and cloth stitch and twist with the right hand two pairs, which are the foundation rows which start and finish the ground. So I'm going to do these two more rows. Two more rows is here, and then I can go back and finish the fan, the second half stitch spider, and the second fan, and we'll be ready to turn the corner. And once again, we're at the bottom, of our quarter so as we did before i'm going to i finished the fan and i'm going to work cloth stitch and twist through that edge pair then i'm going to half stitch through our extra fan passive put an extra twist on the worker and i'm going to pin in that little extra pin hole in the corner Work back out in half stitch, then cloth stitch and twist, extra twist on the worker, and put my final pin in the top pin hole of the next fan, round the corner, and bring all my pairs round onto my cover cloth. Turn the pillow and bring the cover cloth round. So now we've done half, half of the square. And as I said right at the beginning, this is exactly the same principle, regardless of how big your square is. If you divide it into quarters, you'll work a quarter, work. turn the next quarter. Turn so in the next video, we'll be working on this third section, which will be a long trail which I'm going to work in cloth stitch, a simple cloth stitch spider like we've already done and then I shall go back to a cloth stitch fan on the outside edge and that will be video three.